The mythological narrative and smooth brushstrokes of Jean-Léon Jérôme's Pygmalion and Galatea, painted around 1890, make the painting a perfect example of French academic art, a style that includes the work that came out of French academies in the 19th century. The painting shows the climax of the myth of the sculptor Pygmalion, a story taken from classical mythology. Pygmalion could not love women because he felt that they were all wicked. However, when he sculpted a beautiful woman, so realistic that she seemed almost alive, he fell in love with his creation. At the Festival of Venus, Pygmalion prayed for a bride just like his sculpture. Venus heard his prayer, and when he returned home and kissed his sculpture, he realized that she had transformed into a human woman. The couple continued on to have a happy and blessed marriage. Jérôme chose to show the moment in which Galatea comes alive, and so her upper body is human, but her lower body remains lifeless. Although her skin is almost as pale as the stone, the smooth transition from the stark white of her calves to the rosier tones of her human skin shows the viewer that she is in the midst of her transformation. The rigid straightness of her legs contrasts with the curved line of her spine, and this line works with the line created by Cupid's arrow to bring the viewer's eye to the lover's kiss, thus hinting at the happy ending to the story. French academies encouraged artists to focus on subjects taken from classical mythology or history, like Jérôme's. French academies, especially the Académie des Beaux-Arts in Paris, dominated the European art world throughout the 19th century, and thus to a large extent controlled public taste in art, since artists would conform to the expectations of the academies in the hopes of gaining critical acclaim and patronage. The salons held by the academies supported a style that was heavily influenced by neoclassicism and romanticism. Neoclassical style used ancient classical art as a standard, encouraging young artists to focus on the harmony, simplicity, and proportion of the sculptures of classical antiquity. The classical subject matter and masterful technique of Alexandre Cabanel's The Birth of Venus made the painting a huge success in the Paris Salon. Pierre-Auguste Cote's The Storm focused on nature and personal emotional response, subjects common to Romanticism, but still keeps the smooth brushstrokes of academic art. This technique stands in stark contrast with that of Impressionist painters, who directly resisted the academic style. Impressionist works like Auguste Renoir's painting, Reclining Nude, have more technical freedom than academic art. Renoir uses loose, obvious brushstrokes that give the entire painting a texture, a signature of Impressionist style that directly contradicts the teachings of academic art. Jérôme's smooth brushstrokes make his work unmistakably academic. The complex folds in Pygmalion's tunic caused by his movement upwards reveal Jérôme's mastery of oil paint. The subject matter, taken from classical mythology, would be immediately recognizable to the viewers at the Paris Salon. Jérôme's smooth, masterful technique and classical subject matter combine to make his narrative of the myth of Pygmalion an excellent example of 19th century French academic art.